G'day YouTube. So, another goodie from uh, Banggood.com. They sent me out this little antimatter 20 amp or 300 watt synchronous uh, balance charger discharger with regen. Now, you may remember we had one similar back a while ago. Um, this one's cooling system just wasn't up to par at all to handle the current that it could pull through in and out and that kind of thing it just wasn't wasn't good enough but this 20 amp version which is only 10 amps lower than this one mind you this 20 amp version is a uh, I don't know if you call it a clone or a replica or a off brand of an eye charger um, Pretty much all of it's the same. The firmware from my charger can be used to update these. Anyhow, so what you get in the kit is a pair of nice alligator clips which go on the end of these input power banana plugs. That takes care of your input power. Instruction manual. Assortment of cables. That's a Dean's plug, a T-headed T Dean's plug to banana. Got a banana plug to these ones, sometimes used on drone batteries. And an XT60 female. Um, I haven't used any of those ones yet. I used my own leads, which are these. Which I'll link in the description. I hold a bit over 10 amps generally. Um, they got good. They're big clips, but they're good clips. You can actually get on battery terminals and things with them. So in the side here, you've just got two banana plug ports for the output power. I do have a balance port board for this sitting here somewhere as well. I already pulled that out of the box, so I didn't lose it. I sat it somewhere. But anyway, it's just a balance board like uh, most LiPo chargers have. Nothing super exciting. All right, let's power it up for you so you can see what it looks like. So I'm just using a 12 amp, uh, 12 volts, 40 amp battery here. Comes up to the system check, tells you the firmware number, and goes straight into whatever you want to do. So the last thing I was doing was charging a 4 volt lead acid gel cell. Um, it's very much like a IMAX uh, in its menus. Very similar, uh, it's very simple to use, very smart. So it's got a few different special modes. You can actually do motor testing. Um, so it'll drive a motor up to 10 amps for at two volts for 30 minutes. You can change all those settings. It's got a foam cut mode, so you can actually make it just put out five amps through an element or a filament wire that you stretch between a couple of contacts and cut foam. Internal resistance measurements. Yeah, so there's a couple of special features that this one has well and truly over and above other breeds and if we go lithium battery and we go lithium battery discharge like so we find ourselves a LG AUBHE 9650 We get it inside these terminals and I can press the button at the same time, I'll show you what happens. We only need seven hands. I'll just see if I can't squeeze it. But we want to hold, let's set it at 9.8 amps and I'll show you why this is a really cool LiPo charger. Press enter. It asks if you want to do regenerative discharge. Wasn't holding it properly. That's saying we got four volts in the battery. Right, let's try again. So it says regenerative, you say yes. Look at it go. 
There's now just under 10 amps load on this cell. You know the crazy part? It's pulling this 3.2 volts out of this cell, feeding it back into that lead acid battery that's running the charger. I'll stop that before I can't hold it anymore. So, whatever the voltage, so that's 3.7 nominal, whatever the voltage of your low power thing is, you want to do a discharge test. Most discharge tests just waste it off as wasted heat off a chipset. Like these. This one has the ability to take that energy out of the tested cell, feed it back into a battery bank. So, of a night time, if I want to do some battery testing, I will literally put this on, say, let's say we're doing a 12 volt lead acid 40 amp hour battery. I connect this to my battery pack, I connect the test leads to the battery, I hit regenerative discharge and it puts all that energy back into my battery bank that I can use. At the same time it's giving me a reading on how many amp hours were in said battery. And then what I do is take, wait until the sun comes up the next morning and while the sun's out, once my battery bank's full and it's not taking any more power because I've got more solar than I have storage, I turn this on and I recharge that battery with uh, with the power that's in the solar. So it's a lot less wasteful. Um, if you've done any significant amount of testing on a um, on an IMAX, yeah, IMAXs do waste waste heat, but the um, Opus discharges for uh, for eighteen six fifties specifically, you will waste off so much energy because you're going to charge them up. And then you're going to discharge them, and you're going to charge them again. And that's just all getting wasted off as heat through resistors. And if you're doing 50 kilowatt hours of power wall, all that being said, you don't have to use it as a regenerative discharger. You can turn that off in the settings. You just simply go settings. On the back, back end, so just go backwards when you get there. Regenerative discharge. So what you actually do is you actually set a maximum output voltage of your regen discharge as well. So say you, you've got a 12 volt solar bank. I've just set mine to 14 volts and a maximum of 20 amps. Uh, if you're discharging something that's greater in voltage than your uh, power wall, for instance. Um, so you're discharging a, what can I do, 6S. 24 volt, oh, 20 volt. Um, power tool battery and uh, you want to pull 10 amps out of it well that's going to be pushing up towards yeah you know you, you, you're almost doubling your current by the time it comes through so that's why that's there if you're on a small battery and you're just doing a regenerative discharge on something that can't handle a lot of charge for instance this gel cell full river here recommended maximum charge is 14 amps and everyday charges eight, so you can limit that to protect your your battery over there. Now, these are really good price point um, compared to the bigger ones. I would not buy that one again. Um, I know HP Powerwall got one as well, and Average Joe got one. Parts out of Average Joe's one came from Peter to keep them both going because they they just blew up. They, they both had a b bad run and mine just went up in smoke. There is a video about that if you want to see it. And there's a tear down on that if you want to see what happened inside. But not to be negative, I've had this going for two weeks pretty much straight at this stage um, because I didn't want this to fry up on video while I was testing it brand new. It doesn't get hot at all. Um, it's got a current and temperature sensitive fan. I've used it to discharge resistively as a single unit rather than as a um, regenerative discharge. I really like the regenerative discharge. You probably you probably gathered that already. But a um, couple of the special modes. If you've got to run a mo uh, motor in, that's, that's a cool thing. Lithium, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium and lead acid batteries. I've mainly used it for lead acid so far. Uh, I have tried to f charge up a few 
sad cells in a few cordless tool batteries and things like that but yeah that's that's what we're looking at the the it's a solid little thing um, basically all aluminium heatsink oh it has a USB so you can change the firmware and it also has a fan temperature sensor so you can uh, put a temperature sensor on your pack if you're worried about your pack voltage being wrong of fact getting hot or whatever in charge or discharge um, don't leave it unattended with your uh, specifically um, lithium batteries but lead acids can do a similar thing so you know always be mindful of what you're charging and how you're charging it and yeah I've got links down below for this Spangood sent this to me for the purpose of review um, really good thing I'll do some videos on how to actually use it and how to set up a regenerative discharge and run you through the process of all that but this is just a bit of an overview of what you get in your kit you get a balance board you get a bunch of leads get some instructions which are pretty good to be able to read I'll tell you all the warnings and all that kind of stuff yeah so it's a good product I'm, I'm happy with it so far and uh, if anything changes with it I'll let you know um, I'm kind of testing this one to see if it's worth buying a second one um, for the purpose of uh, just having more charging discharging capabilities thank you very much for watching link will be in the description for you to pick one of these up and uh, catch us on the next video cheers Thank <laughs> you.